Hey YouTube, so welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be part one of a three-part series I will be doing for the Black Friday, Cyber Monday uh, sales haul videos. This video is going to be my Cyber Monday stuff. I ordered everything from ColourPop. Everything I ordered is from ColourPop. There we go. Um, so the next video that's going up will probably be my Black Friday thrift video, and then we'll have a Black Friday sales video, which will have like skincare, hair care, cosmetics, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get into this. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys like the little invoice I got. Let me explain. I'm filming this on the 28th, so it's Wednesday. I placed my order Monday night at 10.35pm and I got this stuff already today. That is insane. Love it. A plus for ColourPop. So I'm going to go ahead and cover up my address and show you guys everything. This is my little invoice of stuff that I got. So everything came in this box right here. This is the biggest box I've ever received from ColourPop. Usually my stuff comes in like those um, padded envelopes. So, all right, so we're gonna start with complexion and face products. The first two things I got are the uh, no filter foundation. I got two different shades. I got medium 115 and medium 90, just because I wasn't sure what shade I was gonna be. Um, and then I can also mix these to adjust my perfect shade whenever I'm more tan or more fair. Um, they didn't have the shade that I actually wanted that I thought would be a really good match. So that's why I got two. This one is medium dark 115. And then this one is a medium 90. So I think if I mix these together, I can come up with like a really good shade. I think this one will be a pretty good match, the 115, but just in case, I got this one too. I've been really wanting to try these out, so I had to snag up all I could. The next product I got is the No Filter Setting Powder. And I just got this in Translucent. I've heard some really good things about this. As you guys know lately, I've been on a kick with trying different setting powders. So it's really uh, affordable. Why not? And they were also doing um, like a 40% off sale for Cyber Monday. I should probably have mentioned that already, but I probably didn't. The next thing I picked up in their complexion category is a bunch of concealers. I actually got five of these. Uh, two shades I do have doubles of. So I have medium 26, fair 06, and light 16. I tried these out um, beginning of 2017, I do believe, and I really, really, really loved them. Ran out of them. At the time, ColourPop didn't have like expedited processing and shipping, so I just never went back and purchased them. But glad to have them back in my life. And then the last base product I got is one of their pressed powder cheek. It says highlighter, but there is no way this is a highlighter. Um, this is what I'm going to use it for as a bronzer, and this is in the shade Afternoon Delights. I did want one that was a little bit more golden than this, but this is what they had in stock, so I'm really excited to try this out. Heard tons of good things about that. We'll go ahead and move on to lips, just because I only have three things in the lip category. The first thing I have is their Ultra Glossy Lip in Champagne Mommy. I think that's how you pronounce that. I do have their Snow Day Gloss, and I absolutely love it, so. This just kind of seems similar to the Fenty Gloss Bomb. Um, so, I'm hoping it's a little bit different. If not, that's a really affordable dupe. Then I also picked up one of their Luxe Lips, and this is in the color Check, Please. From what I've seen on Pinterest, this is a dupe for one of the Fenty lip colors. I can't think of what it's called. I think it's called Saucy. Not sure, but this was a dupe for it, and it's just like this really pretty orangey color. I don't have anything like this. I really wanted to try their Luxe Lips, so I picked that up. And then the last lip product I have is one of their lippy sticks. I have never tried any of their lippy sticks. I've only tried the Ultra Mattes, the glosses, and the satins. So, and this is in the shade Ziggy, which is described as a warm terracotta color, and I love, love, love colors like this. Moving on to the last category, which is eyes, I picked up the Good Sport palette just because I've been eyeing this for so long since it came out and I'm wanting to buy an Ulta, but it's never in store, so I don't really like to purchase it online if I don't have to, but obviously I had to. And this just looks so gorgeous. From the swatches and what I've seen, this is supposed to be like a dupe or alternative for the new, what is it, the Too Faced Ginger Bread? 
palette. Is it Gingerbread or Ginger Man? It's their like holiday uh, palette they came out with. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the picture that I've seen so you guys can get a reference if you wanna spend more money or not. And then the last items I have are all their cream gel liners. There were a couple more that I really wanted to get but they kept going out of stock because of the sale. So I will go ahead and insert swatches so you guys can see. But I picked up the color Puppy. Best O, which I have in the little pot form and absolutely love it. Fast Lane, No Shame, and Piggy Bank. And I have looked at Piggy Bank and it just looks absolutely stunning. It's a little bit darker than I thought it would be, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out of the packaging to show you guys because it's so pretty. It's this really pretty, like, orchid purple color kind of matches my nails, actually, unintended. It says everything I picked up for Cyber Monday. I know it was only one brand and this haul was very, very short, but I did want to break this up into three separate videos just so it wasn't like a 40 minute long video so i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you are interested in purchasing any of my items i'm doing a closet sale over on vinted i'm no longer doing it on instagram but just because it's a little confusing with the paypal setup that i had going so everything's over on vinted i will go ahead and list my vintage shop down below as well as my instagram if you want to go ahead and follow me over there uh, subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you feel so inclined and i hope to see you in my next video